Dexter Axle maintains the highest standards in the industry for quality trailer running gear. Our axle components are engineered to provide you with the finest towing and stopping performance available today. When it comes to installing these components, we have established an approved method to ensure safe, reliable operation as well as personal safety to you as you complete the work. Please use the following electrical installation instructions as your guide when installing these Dexter Axle electrically controlled hydraulic brake activation devices, also referred to as EH brake actuators. K716500, 1000 PSI for drum brakes. K716100, 1600 PSI for disc brakes. Before getting started, it is imperative that you understand the functionality of each of your tow vehicle's wires so you can correctly match them to the corresponding functions of the actuator wires. Wire color matching does not guarantee proper installation. You must connect the wires according to their functionality. Also, when mounting your EH actuator to your trailer, Dexter Axle recommends a well-ventilated area or an enclosure that is not overly snug to the actuator. This will prevent overheating of the EH actuator. The correct connections for each of the actuator wires are as follows. The black wire connects to the 30 amp 12 volt supply from the tow vehicle. The blue wire connects to the output from the in-cab electronic brake controller. The white wire goes to the trailer and tow vehicle ground wire, and the yellow wire connects to the non-powered side of the breakaway switch. It is critical that the black power lead and the white ground lead from the tow vehicle to the input of the actuator are sized and properly terminated. For example, a dedicated 25 to 40 amp circuit on the tow vehicle and 12 gauge wire minimum is required. 10 gauge wire is recommended for optimal performance. You'll want to consult the SAE wiring guidelines for proper trailer electrical harness design. The Dexter EH actuator requires an in-cab electronic brake controller to operate. It must have an output capacity of at least 5 amps, and while the actuator will work with a variety of controllers, optimum performance is achieved with the Dexter electronic brake controller. Time base brake controllers are not recommended. The blue wire on the actuator needs to be connected to the in cab electronic brake control. While Dexter cannot guarantee standard wire coloring by all manufacturers, in most cases, the connecting wire from the electronic brake control is also blue. Now you'll want to connect the yellow wire on the actuator to the non-powered side of the trailer emergency breakaway switch. Federal regulation requires most trailers be equipped with a breakaway switch and battery. The battery must have a minimum capacity of 9 amp hours and needs to be fully charged at all times. You'll need to check its charge level before every use. Use only breakaway battery kits that include a charging device and don't try to charge the battery directly from the tow vehicle without the proper charging device. Please note, you never connect the blue and yellow wires on the actuator together and the blue wire should never be grounded. Now it's time to test the electrical operation. First, attach the trailer to the towing vehicle. Don't connect the trailer plug to the tow vehicle quite yet. Before doing that, you'll need to pull the breakaway switch. The actuator unit should run. If it doesn't, check the breakaway battery condition and system wiring. To turn the unit off, simply reset the breakaway switch. Now you can connect the trailer plug to the tow vehicle. Next, turn the ignition switch on and then turn the in-cab electronic brake controller on. If the unit does not run, check your system wiring. Now apply the controller manual slide. The Dexter EH unit should run and brake lights should come on. Keep in mind that testing the Dexter EH unit only confirms that it is operating. It does not confirm that the brakes are working properly. Regular inspection, adjustment, and maintenance of brakes, lines, hoses, drums, discs, fluid, and other associated components 
is necessary to ensure brakes are operating properly. You have now completed the Dexter approved electrical installation of the EH hydraulic brake system actuator. And as always, remember to demand only genuine Dexter axle replacement parts for all of your service needs.